all right guys welcome back we are headed up to clear lake for the native no limit tournament it's gonna be catch as many keepers as you can and a scoreable fish is gonna be 14 inches we just got the truck loaded up we're gonna head up to john's place now we're gonna load all our stuff on his trailer and then we're gonna just uh, roll up there together i i heard the fishing has been pretty good and then i heard it's been pretty tough too so you know you're gonna have to find these uh big schools of pre-spawners waiting to move in maybe in the mouths of the creeks and stuff like that but it, those are all like community holes everybody's fishing them right now so uh, kind of would like to find something a little different but but i think that's really what's going to take it a win is those uh, staging areas before these fish move into spawn but hopefully we get on those if we don't we're going to go and just uh flip shallow because i heard the water is really high it's a new fishery so there's gonna be a lot of stuff to flip but um it's gonna be a pretty fun event you know it, it might not be as big numbers as everybody's thinking it's gonna be like uh you know it probably won't take too many fish to win the tournament uh just because the bite is gonna be pretty tough and uh, when you do get your fish uh, it's gonna be a good quality fish i would say maybe I'd say 15 keepers is probably gonna win the event uh that's my guess Clear Lake does fish pretty tough when the weather gets kind of nasty you know we did have warm weather all week and then all of a sudden it's gonna have an extreme drop in temp so it's gonna be in the low 30s during tournament time so it's gonna get really really cold that's gonna probably shut off the, the bite quite a bit you know and we do got two days of practice we got half day on the first day of practice and a full day the next day but hopefully the weather plays well um yeah but that's the game plan we're gonna go and look for those big schools of fish uh, that are in the pre-spawn state out in the mouths of the creeks waiting to push in to start uh spawning in the back of the creeks and stuff like that if we can't find those kind of bites we're just gonna go flip all day go look for those fish that are in the spawn state already because i'm pretty sure there's a lot of fish that had already moved up shallow with the, the warm week they may have already committed even if the the, the cold front came through these fish are probably just already committed being up there so uh, they won't move too very far away from their bank so if we have to we're just gonna go flip might not get a lot of bites doing that but uh you're just gonna get bites doing it uh hopefully it goes well for us and uh see if we get on guys so stay tuned Good one. Look at that. That's a clear lake chunk right there. Good four pounder. Fatty. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Alright guys, first keeper today. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we didn't get to shoot an intro because it was still dark, but we are fishing the native no limit tournament here at the lake with over 200 anglers. And uh, you know, fishing was pretty tough for me. Uh, practice, you know, we caught one keeper both days. Uh, so, I'm just gonna grind away. We didn't get on any particular pattern that was really good it was just hard for me to figure it out so 
you know, just fishing shallow. That's the only way I got consistent bites. So uh, we're just gonna pretty much flip all day long. You know, we couldn't get on those, you know, creek spawn mega spools. Uh, couldn't find any of those fish, so here we are just flipping. Flip back to the same spot. <sighs> sure enough, there's a beam in there. Check that one out, guys. That's like a 19 inch or maybe 18 to be fat. But I do apologize if I'm whispering, you guys can't hear me because there's a few boats in here, so I'm gonna try to be as quiet as I can. Alright, guys, good fish. 20 inches. Probably six pounder right here. Good gut on it. Number three, sixteen, seven, five.
supposed to change it up a little bit. I got four. All right. Yeah, it's been a slow day, but I'm happy. To, I'm happy with those little four ones, you know. Um, it, it's been very slow, but I'm happy with them, you know. <laughs> yeah, for for a big fish for an hour. Because <laughs> no matter how you're doing, even at the end of the day, you can still get that thousand dollar fish. Right, you can just catch one fish, and it may be that, you know, you can catch that one hour, but if it's an overall big fish, you also win a boat, a kayak as well. Oh, for the tournament. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, so it, you know, you just don't give up, you know, like, even no, if no, no. yeah. That's right. So you know. Good. Yeah. You're on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Not a bad one. <laughs> Right. Today's the nicest day out of the week. <laughs> oh yeah, well next week you see me it. Is it supposed to be really nice? On really? <laughs> wow, <that's good>. <laughs> <laughs> Short one, but... You, uh, I'd like to see, so what do you got to do now? Uh, I just, um... So basically, we use a measuring a device. Board? Yeah, we use a board. I can pull up. Son was asking me. I told him there's 200 kayaks. This this no limit one is it draws a lot of people because you know people just come out here to just to well, catch as many as you can you want. For a thousand bucks. <laughs> what does it cost to enter? Uh, it costs I think 140. Yeah. It's worth it. Oh no, it's 130 yeah. I think. Plus all the fishing you get. So basically, we get an identifier. We we can we print it out and then okay. they'll give you a code for the day. Oh. So you write the code that way people aren't you know. You know, scoring fish. scoring fish like the day before, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the tournament director sends out a code, and all we do is we put them on the board, and then we just take a picture of them and send it in. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's all time stamped and location too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, good. yeah. I was kind of wondering because clearly, like a lot of times, it's just fat around here. Right. They're not. They're not like the kinds we want because we want length. You're right. That's and, what I'm saying. You might get a ten pounder, but it's short. Yeah, a ten pounder or probably. Five pounder. Right. You know these bass. Right. Uh, so this is this is my fifth one. Fifth one? Yeah. Well, then it picked up a lot. That's yeah. what I said. That's pretty good. It's only nine o'clock. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, guys are fishing all day to get five fish. 
I went out the other day, I caught one fish, I got one bite on about my 10th cast, and I thought... Yeah, I like catching them out of a kayak. <laughs> I don't have anything like that, but I like going fishing in it. Oh yeah, it's 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 a lot more stealthier, so you get a lot yeah. closer, you know. Yeah, you can take, I've always liked the fact that you, anybody can put those there. And go. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out here. Thanks for letting me fish around you guys, Doc. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You guys too. <laughs> All right, so, you know, the, I was flipping and pitching the brush pile in the morning to hopefully get some bigger bites. And I, I did get a good bite back with that, but. Uh, you know, we really went through this area with it, so now we're just really just slow missing with the drop shot. And uh, got me about two or three really quick uh, small ones, but they were keepers, so. And for this point, they don't have to be big. <laughs> you just need to keep, catch as many keepers as you can, so. So even the water temp is low 50s, you know, these fish, I believe, had already pulled in here. And they had already started spawning, but this cold front came on and shut them off. But I think a lot of these fish that are were already spawning are still spawning. I mean, they've already committed, so that's why they're already off on the bank. And plus, today's probably the warmest day, so we got a lot of sun, so these fish will feel like moving right up onto the bank if they're in the channels or whatever. So we just got to keep rotating and you know, hopefully new fish move up shallow. And then when they do, hopefully we can capitalize on that and catch a few more. But so far it's so good, you know, we got a lake. And you know, look at lakes, right? Not a bad one at all. Nice and healthy. Nice and fat fish. All right, guys, another good keeper. Seventeen and a quarter. Jeez, that was a long time. You know, earlier we got on that quick flurry, and then now. We went a few hours without getting a bite.
took long enough. Jeez, look how fat that, how wide that fish is. Big, big shoulders on this thing. I guess. 1675. Would it be okay if I go back in there? Yeah, Alright. You yeah, but you can go in. I'll just fish behind you. No, go ahead. I'll fish on this side. You sure? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty, folks, that is it. Lines out. I got it. <laughs> Whew. Ah, that's my favorite rod too. Ah. That was scary. I, I did all right, you know. Definitely a lot better than practice. I dropped my rod right there earlier. Oh. I caught it back right there. Yeah. Dude, I, dude. <laughs> you see? I was stressing out because I was like, dude, that's like my favorite rod too. I was about to come deep. Dude, I was like, where is this rod? <laughs> I was just like, dude, I couldn't see it, but luckily I felt like it, it, it hit like a stick uh -huh. and I pulled it up and it was a rod. I was like, oh my God, dude. What rod is it? Is that my endurance, the, the discontinued one? Yeah, that would have sucked. Dude, I was like, because I put it in the rod holder. I thought it was a rod holder and it wasn't. It just fell over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. Here, hold on. Let me get a picture and I'll send it to you, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah, dude. Let me, let, me, like let, me my, let me get my let me get my kayak out of the way. All right. Nice job, man. We would have had this happen for all you guys to be able to come through. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, all right, guys, that's me in for the Native No Limit event on Lake Clear Lake. We did end up finishing in fourth place out of 210 anglers with a nice piece of wood for the wall. Kind of recap of uh, the whole entire time there. Practice day one and two. Uh, day one, we didn't get much time in the water. We checked out two different ramps. We checked out oaks and then we went out of Rodman. Uh, didn't get any bites out of oaks. We didn't stay there too long. And then we went to uh, Rodman. Uh, we only had one bite there and we caught that fish it's a good quality fish just wasn't really convincing or anything we couldn't get on a solid pattern or anything going on in there so i didn't want to uh, fish that area on uh, day two of practice we launched out of uh, kanaktai uh, we did get one bite just literally flipped that brush hog right up onto the bank and uh, got bit i didn't set the hook because i wasn't sure if i was going to fish in that area or not because we just didn't get on a solid pattern we went out we checked all those creek arms all the mouths and stuff like that you know we ran a lot of stuff we just could not get any bites 
and then me and john we went up north we went fishing the little key and then i, I caught a good one i just wanted to check to see if i can get bit so i and uh it kind of like really convinced me that the fish that are in there are still shallow and they're still uh spawning just because of the way how the fish are looking and where they're staging up at they're spawning right on that break it seems like because when you pitched it in there it was you got bit instantly uh game day we went in there and just started flipping we caught one really quickly and then fall right back up to the same exact spot and we caught another one which is most likely the female seems like those fish that are up there they had already committed to the spawn even though we had the really cold temp drop uh, these fish had already committed to stay up there because in the morning the water temp was uh in the low 50s the rod i was flipping my brush hog was a dobbins xdc 754 it's a pretty stiff rod even though it's a four power rod uh, i didn't want to flip with a, a much more longer style rod because i'm not flipping really heavy cover it's just really open water i am using 17 pound p-line tactical i think that's enough for for uh, flipping this lighter stuff because you know you're not flipping in like heavy grass or tulies or uh, mats or anything like that so the 17 pound really does the job for me it's it's a lot lighter so when you're flipping it, it it's a lot more sensitive you can get the lighter baits that you're flipping a little bit further and a little bit more stealthier the bait i was flipping was a zoom brush hog in the watermelon red this is the mid size they do make i think four sizes which is the tiny the baby the mid size and the full size and the one i was flipping was the mid size i think everybody's throwing the full size so i just decided to downsize a little bit not too small but it's a little slightly smaller uh to a mid size and i do have a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight this is just a black tungsten i don't think it matters for the color but i do have it pegged with the gamagatsu 4 ewg super line hook um, you know, that's pretty much the whole setup for the, um, for flipping. I mean, it's nothing really fancy to it. Just flipping away, making a bunch of random casts. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for Clear Lake. The weather and the fishing didn't treat us nice, but, uh, you know, we had a good time hanging out with the guys out there, the Airbnb and stuff like that. But it, it was just a pretty fun weekend. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.